good morning children today i have come with an with an explanation of chapter number 10 the flamingo that flew to the snow i'll give you the detailed summary of this chapter this chapter is about a flamingo bird means uh, it was flying free for the first time in her life the 20 year old chilean flamingo soared alone over the foothills and rivers of connecticut after a lifetime of domesticated inactivity her breast muscles ached yet the lost bird forced herself onwards it was october 1997 Although the flamingo had never migrated before, instinct told her to head for a warmer climate. But she was of a Chilean breed, so while flocks of migratory North American birds flew south, she flew northwest towards what she thought would be the coast. It was the way to a cold death, passing over the. Appalachian mountains the exhausted bird crossed into Canada finally one day in early november the flamingo saw a gaggle of canada geese along an inlet of ottawa river and prepared to land among them kathy nihai the 53 year old founder of the ottawa valley Wild Bird Care Center put down the dropper she was using to feed an injured bird and picked up the ringing phone. The caller was Elizabeth Lee Gett, bird watching columnist at the Ottawa Citizen, and the story she had to tell made Nehai laugh. Seriously, Elizabeth, a flamingo. up here she said we will check it out there is no way it is a flamingo he says so said nehai's colleague colleague steve heim he said that there is no way it is a flamingo okay it is probably a heron or a snow goose means nobody is believing that ki uh, that at this weather in this weather flamingo can come over there so it was a surprise for everybody over there nobody was able to believe that thing nehai was dining at her parents home that night november 9 so haim and a volunteer offered to drive over to shirley's bay where the mysterious visitor had been spotted when they got there they found a pink plumped bird with long stick thin legs wading through the shallow waters hymns phoned nehai it's big and tells him means when he witnesses himself he make a call to nehai and tells that this is the fact this is the reality the news is absolutely correct and even he tells the uh, tells how it appears he tells him on the phone that mm, a flamingo about flamingo that it is big it is pink it is a freaking flamingo he exclaimed the following morning nehai and several volunteers grabbed some nets borrowed two canoes and paddled their way out onto the bay it wasn't long before nehai spotted the bird's radiant body standing out clearly against the cloudy gray day so uh, she said very quietly aren't you a strange side means he was not able to believe himself herself okay so uh, they paddled slowly to within 5 meters of the flamingo because they were scared that maybe flamingo may uh, fly away from there uh, in their presence and they do not want to lose that chance to catch flamingo so they paddled slowly to within 5 meters of the flamingo suddenly the bird raised her broad wings began a running ascent of the water and uh, landed on a small island it occurred to nehai that this rescue might be harder than she had 
imagined. Means they want to rescue flamingo because being an environmentalist, uh, means they uh, they knew it very well that this uh, uh, weather could be harsh for flamingo at this moment, and uh, it it is a welcome to the death of flamingo. So they were trying to rescue the bird. Okay, the next the next morning, Nehai began to. They uh, Nehai began to list of emails and calls to zoos across North America as well as seabird sanctuaries and anyone with a bit of flamingo experience. So, acting on the information she had gathered, Nehai ordered some flamingo food. The birds eat algae and aquatic in invertebrates. Obtain some plastic lawn flamingos and a recording of flamingo sound. So, uh, a local bird watcher posted a message online asking anyone who had lost a flamingo to contact the Ottawa Valley Wild Bird Care Center. Because nobody uh, means they were trying to collect the information if the flamingo has run away from uh, any sanctuary, bird sanctuary, or uh, from any uh, zoo so they were just trying to collect the information and what does flamingo eat so on the basis of uh, information they were trying to rescue that flamingo so um, even a local bird watcher posted a message online asking anyone who had lost a flamingo to contact the ottawa valley wild bird care center then the ottawa citizen ran a front page story about the foreign visitor it was just like a foreign visitor on at their place. So, 19-year-old uh, uh, Sayyid Sheikh, a part-time volunteer at Nehai Center, had grown up admiring, uh, you can say, wild flamingos in his native Kenya and years before had rescued a sick one from the Indian Ocean. When he read about the lost bird, he headed out to Shirley's Bay to join the growing number of volunteers. Among them was Alan Walsh, the devoted father of two young daughters, Shannon, who was six years old, and Lauren, who was nine years old, who had pleaded with him to save the flamingo. <coughs> At the birth center, it was a waiting time during... Uh, during the flamingo's first week in the Ottawa area, a response to Nehai internet query came in. The bird was an escape from the Livingstone Ripley wild fowl sanctuary in Litchfield, Connecticut. Her name was Elish. So, through uh, means, uh, means they gathered some information through the Nehai internet query came in me because because they were uh, they asked on online means through their uh, network uh, internet they explored they uh, means they were gathering an information about flamingo if it has been lost or it has from where it has come so they got a reply okay and they came to know about the word bird that uh, uh, it had the bird was an escapee from the Livingstone Ripley Wildfowl Sanctuary in Litchfield, Connecticut, and the name of the flamingo was Eilish. To Canadians, however, she soon became known as Alicia. Alicia. For the first several days, Alicia played the tourist. So one day she had be where well, she would be seen with the geese at Shirley's Bay. The next, she would appear 10 kilometers up or down river. By the end of the week, sighting suddenly stopped. Means they were not able to see that bird. The Canada geese had gone south and I hoped the flamingo was following them. But expert told her it was unlikely. The geese would soon outpace the flamingo. Left outpace the uh, the geese would soon outpace the flamingo. Left behind, Alicia would probably continue on her, or on her own migration northwest. Why does it happen? Because it was the first flight for for it. Okay, uh, she, uh, flamingo has never been out of that island, so it was for the first time, and uh, she uh, the flamingo took the wrong way. 
ओके ड्यूरिंग द नाइट ऑफ नवम्बर सिक्सटीन द फ्लैमिंग गो लैंडेड वंस अगैन इन द शेलो वाटर ऑफ द टावर रिवर एंड वेन टू स्लीप बिफोर डॉन द टेम्परेचर हैड ड्रॉप टू माइनस टेन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड द वॉटर फ्रोज अराउंड हर वेन शी अ वो खर लेग लो हेल्थ इन एन आईसी आईसी ग्रिप कब स्काउट ऑन अ हाइक स्पॉटेड एलेशा एंड कॉल्ड ने हाई हु इमीडिएटली गैदर्ड हर रेस्क्यू टीम द फ्लैमिंग गो वॉस्ट क्लोजली एज द ह्यूमन एस्ट क्लोजर टू हर इन अ कैनॉय एंड ब्रेकिंग थ्रू स्लश एंड आइज वेन दे गॉट विद इन फाइव मीटर शी बी कैन फ्लैपिंग हाउ विंग्स बिकॉज शी गॉट स्केयर्ड ऑफ द रेस्क्यू टीम The eyes holding her broke, and she flew off awkwardly with frozen chunks caked to her lower le- uh, legs. Defeated for the moment, the uh, the would be rescuer pedaled back to show we need to come up with a different plan. Nehai said. So, uh, Walsh agreed. So over two days, he built a trap five meters in the diameter. that could be sprung closed by hand when the fleming goes stabbed into it back at shirley's bay ne hai baited the trap with a food and plastic flamingos elisha ignored the lure this one this is one smart board meal they try to trap uh, elisha but it was a smart board and uh, it did not come into the lure so uh ne hai conceded to hams and walsh as they slipped coffee from a thermos in their uh, comiflaked spot so the next year volunteers spotted elisha while feeding ducks at andrew hayden park along the ottawa river the walsh trap was set up again to lure the bird in mirrors were mounted on the shore to reflect her own image a uh, remote controlled plastic canada goose was placed nearby a tape of flamingo claws played it didn't work so another plan was failed okay another rescue attempt was equally imaginative hidden behind nets volunteer artistically comiflaked a canoe with branches and bull rushes then pushed the watercraft towards elisha not quite asleep the flamingo kept a very eye on the floating objects when the strange contraption came to within 5 meters she flew off to a more tranquil spot on november 21 the bay froze over completely two days later the flamingo was spotted feeding at the mouth of a creek 10 km up river so shake donned a pair of chest wetters to protect himself from the freezing water and tucked an extendable butterfly net in the back so he moved towards the flamingo on his knees as he had done in his indian ocean rescue he rubbed his fingers together under water imitating the sound of another flamingo feeding the bird began walking towards him so uh, nihai says in a very whispering voice that i don't believe it so she is going to walk right into sayed's arm nihai whispered to hams alisha was almost within shake's grasp when he slipped into a hole on the river floor and made a splash again their plan failed the flamingo flew off so by december the flamingo was spending most of her time feeding at the mouth of the creek occasionally walking into a narrower section that was 7 meters wide nehai hoped that a special trap at the spot would succeed to make the trap again they they were trying to trap a, a flamingo in order to rescue it they needed seven large and nearly invisible nets but the cost was far far higher than the bird center could afford so by now however elisha desperate set- situation had touched people's heart three nets were donated when an appeal went out four more were needed then a call was received the ottawa citizen would donate the rest so the nest the net arrived on december 5 and nehai hams and 10 volunteers spent 6 hours building a trap across the creek so they drove poles into the ground on either side and stretched the netting over three sides and across the top leaving a length over the front to act as a door 
on either side of the trap door they built blinds of straw and leaves working in pairs the volunteers began a round the clock vigil they passed but not once did the bird enter the trap the then a cold snap hit and eyes formed over the creek the flamingo disappeared and many thought she had come to the elements so on december 10 with the still no sign of her the rescuer decided to take the trap down it was time to admit failure mean they were you can say that they uh, they accepted their failure all their plans gone in vain and they were they failed to uh, rescue uh, a flamingo okay so nehai was putting on uh, waders to get into the river and free the trap from the ice when a cry went out Uh, there she is the flamingo stood just 20 meters away and i was so excited she rushed to break the ice in the trap with her bare hands so aided by hand center a wall she cleared the trap and the trio regained their hiding places come on birds let your stomach get the better of you hand thought as the hungry flamingo back at the ice that's great to get at food then elisha heard the faint bubbling of running water coming from the trap so she stepped into the netted area submerged her head in the water and began to feed walsh put his hand in the air and as the bird turned towards the back of the trap threw his arm down now he signaled hams rushed into the net grabbed the flamingo and clutched her to his body she didn't struggle with a huge grin hams kissed the top of her ruffled head when pictures of safe alicia grace the front page of ottawa newspaper the next day it seemed the whole city let out a sigh of relief no one no one was happier to hear the news than renowned uh, ornithologist as dillon replay founder of the century in litchfield <coughs> home of home to 80 species of birds from around the world when workers had approached alicia to clip her growing eight feathers she had flown flown away they had tried unsuccessfully to rescue her in connecticut for about a month after her escape but then she would have disappeared and was pres- uh, presumed dead within a week at the ottawa valley wild bird care center alicia had returned to her normal weight courtesy of air canada she was uh, shipped back home to litch uh, field where she rejoined her mate and her and her flock so n- if we have gone through such an intra- interesting story of escape uh, to the escape of flamingo if you have any problem then uh, if you have any query then you can uh, we i can solve it out in the live lecture okay then till then bye bye and have a nice day